Everyone give it up for anime. We're going a little bit offbeat at the moment because everything's been running to plan. And Dave Belfield is getting very, very nervous and twitching now. I'm up here because today we are going to commemorate David and Helen Belfield and their family as 10 years as senior leaders in the house, today's community church. You're going to be jet setting off in the holiday of a lifetime. We're going to be sending you for two weeks to Disney World Resort, Florida. From me and the family that we so appreciate what you've just done. That you need to understand what that means to us. Thank you so much. See, new generation thinkers, they don't settle for today's suitability. They want destiny. New generation thinkers change the world. You're in control, is there any way you want to go? That Jesus is the answer to everything. Well, well, yeah, Jesus is the answer to everything, but really what I'm saying is you've got to take a level of personal responsibility as well. I'm not, I'm not big on religion or anything. Uh, I suppose I believe in, in something. Uh, but I mean, the way she, the way she talks about this church, she's, She's actually excited about it. I'm really up for this. I'm raring to go. I'm really looking forward to it. And we're going to show this on uh, big media screen uh, on the 28th of January. Right. And well. encouraging people uh, this year, are you ready to jump? Well, let's not have any swearing on it then, eh? <laughs> you know what? When you start to think different, you start to do different. Is there a different way of looking at life? Is there a way of achieving some stuff that my forefathers never could achieve because of what they believe? The kingdom of God is advancing forcefully. It's not a man be the kingdom. It's for people who make advancement the primary word of their life. makes it all worthwhile investment into people who develop and are going to do some significant things for God in their lifetime. stand a chance of doing life well if we live God away. That's the point of what I'm saying. You know you're going to make some good decisions for life if you have an awareness and a consciousness of God in your world 24-7. Okay, so Desmond. Desmond? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, there's friendship, mate, but you go too far, I will knock you out. If you buy a new car, one of the things that new car will have in it is a maintenance schedule. We're not meant to just keep driving it and driving it and driving it until it can be driven no more. It's the same for us. God put in His Word, the Bible, a maintenance schedule. Strip down. Start running. And never quit.
And I, I think God is, is doing more here than just saying, here's the deliverance of God. I'll give you all the money for that building. Just pray to me more and it'll all be sent. I think God's saying, you know, this is about focus. This is about the principle of focus. It doesn't matter that there's not a lot of you. I can do far more with less if we have some focused people.